What's up, Doombots? Tony Skinjili here with a uh, quick discussion about raids, specifically rewards and uh, orbs and just general conversation about how we're not feeling them as a community right now. You'll gather from a lot of opinions that raids have been broken for quite some time. Either they're uh, too easy, too hard, rewards aren't enough. You, you can see plenty of complaints on Reddit, but I figured we can kind of take a look at uh, some of the complaints and determine what Fox Next could do to uh, change how we feel about raids and in the process, probably make some more money. So raids have been broken, uh, partly because there's a long time between the release of a new raid or a scaled up raid, uh, and partly because even though the rewards feel good at the beginning, because of that delay, they, they kind of scale down over time. Now, we just got a U7 after, I believe, nine months uh, of waiting. And yes, the, the Greek raids do cycle and offer an additional attempt or a different chance to uh, accomplish or gather a, a meaningful amount of gear. So let's look at how we can fix that. I'm pretty confident that raids haven't really been very profitable for Fox Next or any more profitable... Uh, than they were in previous iterations, like the Thanos raid or the Deadpool raid. Uh, and I think a lot of that falls on the fact that we just don't get much for the time we spend. Or even if we do get a lot of different things, as players, we don't feel like it's great. I know that now that U7 is out, I, I just don't care to do it. And I think it's pretty trash of, of you, Fox Next, to increase the raid season uh, score for doing the raid without changing the rewards, forcing people to do way more work for less effort in order to stay as competitive as they were in, in the season. That's pretty garbage move. You should have waited to until you upgraded the rewards at least, uh, or you should have upgraded them both at the same time, or you shouldn't have made the mistake in the first place. But you know, spilled milk, you know, like, let's, let's not cry about it. I think there's a way we can fix this raid system that will respect every single characteristic of Spender, whether you be free to play or whale, uh, and give everybody a really good understanding of the amount of time they have to spend in this game and how good it can be for them to maximize uh, how much time they spend in that game. And I, I did it in like three steps. So the first step is... I'm going to sound like a broken record and all of Reddit, but you, you absolutely need to improve raid rewards. I think you should start looking at an entire raid season and not just the individual reward of a raid and determine that at the end of 14 days worth of raids, this is how much every player should get. And if that's what you're doing right now, you're doing a terrible job of it. Because if you run the numbers the only thing the average player will receive from completing 14 raids over a season is 30 to 40 purple gear orbs, depending on their placement. Some arbitrarily ridiculous amount of blue gear orbs that I guess are seal important for some people. Uh, and a decent chunk of purple ability materials for U6, I apologize. But it's not really that important that was a great reward when it came out well actually if anyone remembers your original reward structure for u6 wasn't great and then you went back and fixed it again fox next so let's you know let's get better at that making sure rewards don't suck when they come out but you made them better and they were originally good rewards and they kind of fell over time partially because it took so long to get into a new setup and partially or a new raid and, and the other part was because we need more. We need more stuff. You release scaling parts of the game, but don't scale the content as it goes up. Uh, so the rewards have to be improved. And to, for my money, the simplest way to do that is to add a very simple multiplier to raids. Instead of having to wait after U7 finally gets solved in three months and everyone's 100 percenting it all the time, I think you need to instead of waiting another nine to ten months for u8 to come out just start adding 
challenge modes to those where you add a multiplier to whatever the base stats are to the raid and that multiplier translates directly to the reward payout so if you want to rate make the raid a hundred percent harder where everyone has 100 percent more stats they'd get double the rewards of a normal payout this way it's a simple multiplier on your end players can challenge themselves and and get more rewards and the only thing that won't change is the raid season points because it's an option you're choosing a harder version of a fight to gain more direct rewards so it doesn't make you a, a better in a competitive and completionist task but it will make you choose a harder game mode that will give you more personal rewards that you can open and it will allow players to scale while you design whatever the next raid is same thing goes with the greek raids in the greek raids if if you want to do a you know a, a, a cycle which you're doing right now alpha beta gamma without increasing or adding a delta or doing something else with the greek raids what you really want to make sure you do is instead of you know casually talking about how sometimes you make them harder or sometimes you uh increase that you want to make sure that over the course of the one week or two weeks that that raid is available the players feel very confident that their time in those raids is not only worth doing but worth completing worth 100 percenting worth the extra effort to 100 percent not just for raid season points but for what they get in in the process uh if you want to trick yourself into believing that this game is full of very competitive people trying their best you can but this game is not full of those people this game has those people the game is full of players who like marvel and want to play a game like marvel that's why people watch content creators so they can find out what the simplest solution to a problem is and that's why bkt has become the most popular team in the game and converse why the wakandans are making you no money because no one's building the wakandans because we all found out real quick that your your apex raid team sucked so make sure that you improve the rewards in a way that the players it, you know we're not asking for free stuff it's taking effort make sure that their effort feels worth it and until the overall player base has a positive feedback for you to say like no it's okay or at least stops complaining you'll you'll know you haven't done your job yet the second is whenever you scale up a difficulty you scale up the rewards and that's kind of what i said before but very specifically it has been said that on passes you uh increase the difficulty of certain raid fights you know we'll use gamma as an example that uh sometimes uh, you know, a pass will happen an entire cycle and then the gamble will come back and the characters will be, you know, slightly more scaled. Well, you shouldn't do that, first of all. You shouldn't take content that people uh, have experienced and then spend any amount of time working towards uh, succeeding at and then be like, but here you go. It's harder than it was last time. So you don't feel like you have progressed at all. That's a, that's a feel bad moment. And while anyone with the 200 IQ will sit there and say, well, you should just be better, great. That's gonna make people leave the game and you're gonna be really sad when no one's playing a game and you can't be the best player in a 500 person game. So you need to make sure that when you raise the, the damage on a character, when you raise their health pool, when you make a, a node that has 100% turn meter on a drop, or increased health you have to make sure that the next time you come in if you're gonna make them harder you have to increase the amount of things you're giving the players players have to get more meaningful materials you can't just say it's worth more raid points that's not a reward you i hope people understand that increasing the amount of raid points doesn't isn't a reward it's a burden because everyone should still be accomplishing the task and more people should be accomplishing it the second time they attempt it than they did the first time they attempt it, assuming you want people to invest in their characters. Whenever you want to increase difficulty, whenever you want to release U8, whenever you think, man, maybe U7s are too easy now, you know, months down the road, we're not going to let you just make them harder and not give us rewards anymore. And I think you know that too, because, well, you've seen your numbers. Make things harder 
and make the players get more as a reward for doing content harder than it was previously. I, I feel like I feel like I shouldn't have to say that to you. I feel like that's the first step people should take when developing any kind of content for any game. And I feel like the reason it, you don't see it that often, the reason people don't deviate from that is because the companies that try fail and then we don't hear about them after EA buys them. Do you want to be bought by EA? I know a lot of you don't want to be bought by EA Fox next. I know a lot of you don't, so. And uh, the third, it's kind of a change to an entire mechanic, but it's not something you haven't done before. It's not something that will require much effort on your part. Uh, I, I don't think the raid store works anymore. I think it worked for a long time, and I think it was a great version of the game and a really good place to, to accrue materials. I, I don't think it works anymore, and I think we can make it better. So if we talk about the Greek raids, I, I think... What a lot of people don't understand is that the Greek raids suck from every perspective of the game. From my perspective of the game, um, from whale perspectives of the game, and from free-to-play players' perspective of the game. And somehow, the community got in their head that, like, if you're in a different version, then it's not for you, it's for another group. No, 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 it's not for anybody. The free-to-play players don't like the Gamma Raids. The casual spenders don't like the Gamma Raids. The whales don't like the Gamma Raids because they're not giving everybody something. They're they're finding a middle ground that makes everyone miserable. And, and this isn't to say that the orbs don't have value or that the uh, amount of purple gear you get isn't enough it, it, it's not saying any of that what it's what it's trying to say is if i'm a free-to-play player which i have free-to-play accounts in this game i'm not spending money i don't necessarily want an orb full of four or five potentially useful one day characters with three or four high impact characters and then one or two optimal characters. I, I, I do, even, as a free-to-play player, I don't want that. As a matter of fact, as a free-to-play player, I want to make sure that the effort I put into this game is worth it. I want to min-max for the most part and make sure that I'm working towards something very specific. Whereas a whale or a casual player, I would absolutely love an arbitrary amount of arbitrary character shards up to a point. Uh, and then once I reach the point where they're all just Ultimus Orbs, well, we're, they're useless anyway, because no one no one wants Ultimus Orbs. And if you currently are happy about opening Ultimus Orbs, give it three months. You'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. So we take the Raid Store, and we take the Alpha, Beta, and Gamma Raid Shards, and just, just get rid of them. Just, they don't need to be there anymore. And instead, we replace them with Raid Orb Currency. You've done it in the War Store, You've done it in the Elite Store, the Elite Red Star Store. So do it in the Raid Store. Have an Elite Orb currency. And that currency is what you receive when you re accomplish the rewards. Then, when the raids come around, the Alpha, the Beta, the Gamma, that becomes the only orb you can purchase with the currency. This way, as a player like me, for example, who only needs three characters out of one orb, four characters out of one, the second, and seven characters out of the third, I'm more inclined to dump all of that currency into the third line because I don't have any control over how much I, I receive in a Gamma Raid. I don't have any control over how many orbs I open. I may come in first place in my alliance and, I, and we're only doing 30% of a Gamma 3 or 30% of a Gamma 4, or 60%. I still don't have any control over that because I'm relying on 23 other people. Allow me the control to, to spend on the shards that I want, and then if you want to make sure that it's it's a controlled atmosphere, just make sure that those orbs don't show up all the time. So one currency for Greek, we'll call it the Greek currency, who cares, whatever you want to call it, whatever people want to call the specialty raids, call it the Greek currency. You can buy Alpha, Beta, or Gamma Orbs when they are currently in cycle, and when you're not doing it, the currency doesn't immediately expire. 
So you could just wait. Now, I know what a lot of people are going to say. Well, people are just going to bank them for Fox Next to change the orbs. Yeah, probably going to happen. And do you know why? Because no one wants to open those orbs, Fox Next, because you've made bad orbs. So the people who are going to bank those are already still banking them, waiting for you to change the orbs before you say, oh, we're changing the orbs and now none of them will matter again because you did that the last time with the alpha and the beta and they weren't happy about that. So why not just make it one currency? This way, everybody can spend it how they want. And here's the catch, right? Here's the, here's the full story for you. Here's the last piece. In addition to that, you get to go right back to what we used to do and have marquee character raids where all you have to do is pick a character every time there's a raid season or every time an alpha, beta, or gamma comes out, any character could be a new release, could be anything, and make an orb very similar to the orbs that you can get when a character's available for Blitz, almost exactly similar, you know, a 6 to 24 or whatever the, the drop rate orb is, and make them cost like a thousand more. So make it 2,000 of these gamma credits in order to buy an alpha, beta, or gamma orb, or 3,000 credits in order to buy the specialty character orb that's currently available. So if we're in an alpha and I'm doing my raid and I'm getting all these raid credits, my option is open an orb that has very little value for me that I've determined, not that anyone else has, that I realized, eh, I don't really want that, or open a character orb. At that point, I might say, oh man, this is a really interesting character. I'm gonna spend this currency uh, I'm gonna, you know, work harder, I'm gonna save up for this, and I'm gonna be really excited about it. Or, if neither of them work, then I'm okay to wait, sandbag this currency, wait for the beta, and see if the beta orb has characters I want, or if the beta marquee character is somebody that I want. And you can line it up with any part of the game you want. You can make it in line with the Blitz, you can make it in line with a milestone, you can make it in line with the previous milestone, you can go ahead and release characters this way and say, hey, we released, I don't know, Cyclops this way. You can definitely use Cyclops. Uh, so here's how you release Cyclops, you have to spend currency and then for an entire cycle for an alpha, beta or gamma, you could choose. Do you open the orbs that have random character shards, which if everyone's saying free to play players are want, then that's a great decision and free to play players life is not going to change that much. However, if the other option is, well, those orbs are useless to us, at least then the people are going to have a chance to farm more of a character uh, on release or more of a character like Reed Richards or uh, Colossus or, you know, any of the characters in the last seven months that you haven't added uh, to farm yet. You have the potential and you've done it before. You've created multiple currencies. Sometimes they were great, sometimes they were garbage. The, I think we all agree that the Red Star store, the Elite store is trash, but you can take that, apply it to raids, and let people have control over how they spend their materials, make them make decisions without necessarily giving away the, the store. Uh, and th those are my three steps I think you, you know, Fox Next, you should take to improve what you're already having difficult time finding ways. And I'm only saying that because we're currently about a month into the release of U7 and you're still trying to figure out how to fix the problem that you've created by releasing U7 that the community doesn't like with rewards that nobody wants. So that's my spiel on raids. Hopefully uh, some of you guys agreed with it. Hopefully Fox next sees it and understands it and actually cares about the community enough to do something hopefully better than what I suggested, because I think I suggested garbage, but that's just me. Anyway, thank you guys so much. I appreciate you watching. Have a good night. Have a great day. I've been Tony Scangioli, and I'll catch you later.